Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie, and I want to quickly show you how to configure SSH connections to GitLab. In order to connect to GitLab using SSH, the first thing you need is SSH keys, and those are held in the current user's dot SSH directory, and you can see that I have none right here, which means I need to create them. So open up PowerShell and run this command, ssh-keygen, and provide a couple of switches here. Dash O will force it to use the latest open SSH algorithm. Dash T will make this RSA compliant. And then with that C, you can add in a comment and I'll just add in my email address, gitlab at mcnz.com. And then you click return. Now it's gonna actually ask you a couple of questions. It says, where do you wanna save this file? And do not change that location, just click enter. The reason is those SSH keys are attempted to be found in the .ssh folder of the user. And if you don't have them in there, well, when you run a git clone, it's not gonna find them. It's gonna ask for a passphrase. I can never remember a passphrase, so an empty passphrase works for me. And when you're done, all of a sudden you get this beautiful little piece of random art that says, way to go, feel good about yourself. And you got a couple of keys generated. And beyond that random art, look at this. Boom, I've got a public key. And I've got a private key created in that .ssh directory. Leave them in there, do not move them. Now I keep this private key, well, I keep it private. <laughs> Uh, GitLab needs to know about this public key. So I'm gonna open that up in my favorite text editor, Notepad++, and I'm gonna copy that value. You can see the metadata, GitLab at MCNZ right there. And then I'm gonna mosey on over to GitLab, go look at my account preferences, click preferences, and then hunt over here for a listing of SSH keys. And there it is. Shh keys right there. And it's going to say paste in your key. So I'm going to paste in my key. I do what I'm told. Notice it takes the title as your GitHub email address. It's right in there. Ask for an expiration date. So hey, maybe the 5th of January will be mine. And it's usually the 15th that people are say be mine. But anyways, I'm going to add the key. The key's added. Okay, GitLab now knows about my public key. And the next time I try and go to clone a project, well, I'll grab that public key from GitLab, compare it to the private key, and if everything's good, well, GitLab will connect. But I need a project to clone. So let's take a look at all the different projects that I've got, your projects. There is, well, five commits. That sounds about my level of involvement today. I wanna clone it. So over here, you'll notice there's that blue clone button. It says clone with shh, and that's what I want, the clone with SSH. Click that copy URL button. If you're not confident in yourself, you can copy it a second time, but that's what you want, that clone with SSH URL. And then all you have to do is go back and open up PowerShell, navigate to the folder that you wanna clone your repository in, and then just hammer away at the keyboard and say git clone, paste in that, SSH URL, click enter, and it runs without error. Actually, well, you can see there's a bit of an error. It's not an error, it's a prompt. It's saying, hey, there's no third party authenticating these keys. Is this okay? And you say, yeah, I created those keys. I paste them into GitLab. I did all the dirty work, I trust them. And then it says, okay, we'll pull down all of your code from GitLab. If you don't believe it, you can do a little dir command. There's five commits. You can even move into that folder if you want. Do a little LS or DIR. There's Alpha, Beta, Charlie, Delta, and Edison. And if I come over here, boom, notice Alpha, Beta, Charlie, Delta, and Edison. That's what's over on GitLab. That's what's over on my local machine. And that was all done using an SSH clone over GitLab. I'm looking at my clock. It says four minutes and 30 seconds. We did that all in less than five minutes. So pat yourself on the back if you got that SSH clone done against GitLab. And there you go. That's how easy it is to configure SSH to connect 
to GitLab. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to theserverside.com? I'm the editor in chief over there, and we got lots of great tutorials on Git, GitLab, DevOps tools, enterprise software, and the like. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at Cameron MCNZ. And uh, why don't you subscribe on the YouTube? <laughs>